Dark mode is a new display for the iPhone that people have waited for for a very long time. We're going to go through and show you how to enable it multiple different ways and what it's all about. And just before we get into this, why am I showing you the stopwatch right now? Just to give you an idea of the clock. The clock is an alarm has been there for a long time. Alarms is basically the first app that had dark mode before the iPhone had dark mode. So you can kind of think of this is what dark mode is. It makes everything darker instead of bright, which is the light mode. And we're going to go through all of this and show you how to enable it multiple ways, how to turn it off and on if you would like through this. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tutorials, tips, tricks, app discovery, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. And if this video helps you out, make sure to go ahead and hit that like as well. We're going to go through and explain the dark mode here. And to do that, first option we're going to do is go ahead and choose settings on the iPhone. As you can see, my iPhone probably looks different from yours if you have not set up dark mode yet. I wanted to give you an idea of how it looks. Some people like this because it's nice and it's it's darker and it's easier on the eyes and other people like the traditional way. It's completely up to you, whatever is easier to see and easier on the eyes. To go ahead and even use dark mode, you do have to have iOS 13.0. I do a video on how to go ahead and install that. So if you don't currently have that, I'll put that at the top so you can go ahead and check that out, run through that install process. And once you get that done, come on back and we will go from there. So everyone that does have it installed, let's go ahead and show you. What we want to do is scroll down to display and brightness. And here you have the uh, light and dark. Right now I could choose light and you can see, whoa, it's a lot lighter. <laughs> you can also go ahead and switch back to dark. And you can see the backgrounds as well. It does tint them and also the wallpapers. So it makes the whole phone, not just the menus, darker. You can still change the brightness in here as well. And there is True Tone. If you're not sure what True Tone is, basically it, the phone sees how much light is being taken in and it adjusts the lightness, the brightness, depending on what it thinks you need. You can try it. I don't like it. I keep it off, but it is a good thing to try. If you like it, might be the one for you. I kind of like staying in mid brightness. And then if I'm up way too late, I just turn it down a bit. There's also night shift, which you can turn on as well. If you turn that on, it can go ahead and make the colors more warm or less warm, depending on how you want to do it. This is nice so when it gets 10 o'clock at night, all of a sudden it gets a little easier to read and it helps you to sleep better. And then in the morning, it stays that way until you're about awake and then all of a sudden it changes back. It's a cool mode to have. So now that we got dark mode enabled, that's all you have to do is select that. But a lot of people might want to switch between it a lot of different ways. So let's go ahead and show you how to add it to your control center. We'll go back and then we're going to go ahead and choose control center. In here, we're going to go ahead and choose customize controls. We're going to scroll down just a bit and we're going to go ahead and select dark mode. Now that we have dark mode selected, let's go ahead and just go out of this altogether. And now you have more options. You could pull down from the top right and you can see dark mode is currently on. If I want to turn it off, all I can do is go ahead and select it and it'll go ahead and turn off. Pretty cool. If you don't want to put that icon there for some reason, you can also do it by holding on the brightness. So hold on to the brightness. This menu will pop up and then you can go ahead and switch it to dark mode as well. You can also manage night shift and true tone in here as well. And again, if you want to brighten it, go higher, darken it, go lower. I like to stay in the middle throughout the day. Remember, the higher you go on brightness, the more battery you do use. So that's kind of why I like to stay in the middle. So now you can go ahead and turn dark mode on whenever you need to. And I think you're really going to enjoy it. 
If you have any questions, please leave them below. I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. Let me know if you like dark mode or not. If you like dark mode or light mode, I'll put a poll at the top to see what people think. And let's see which one wins, dark or lights. Here's some more videos I think you'll enjoy. And thank you so much for the view.